The UDISC connection involves setting up a project to cut in the software, but instead of sending the file directly from your computer to the cutter, you'll have to save it as a PLT file on the USB flash drive that is plugged into your computer. Then you can plug in that USB flash drive into your cutting machine, load the file, and send it to cut using the control panel's functions. If this is your first time using SureCuts a lot, you're going to need to go to the Cutter menu, select My Cutter, and then Manage Cutters. From the Company slash Brand drop-down menu, you're going to select Sky Cut, and then click on the Add to the List. Finally, you can click the Done. You can tell that you're ready to start the communication process in SureCuts a lot, by noting that you see the sky cut in the four corners. With your design ready to cut, click on the cutter icon to open up the cut settings window. It is recommended that you do not mark the option to use software speed and pressure since these settings can be made on the control panel itself. Otherwise, if you need to adjust those settings. You'll have to return the flash drive to the computer to resave the PLT file. However, other settings such as cut mode, blade offset, and overcut should be made here at this point. When the file is ready to cut, make sure that you have the flash drive plugged into your computer, then click on the Save to File. A new window opens. Navigate to the flash drive on your computer. Enter the name of the file and mark the option for registration marks if it's a contour cut or a print and cut application, and then click on Save. You are now ready to move the flash drive over to the cutter. Plug the USB flash drive into the USB port on the right end cap. On the main screen, go to the Force and Speed window to make the necessary changes and perform test cuts if needed in order to optimize your settings. Return to the Home screen and select the USB option. Select Open File. Press UDisk. Scroll to locate the PLT file that you saved and double tap the file name to load the file into your cutter. The file should now appear in the prior USB screen. You can set up an array of repeats if you wish by marking the array option and pressing the array set. More details will be covered in a different video. Press Start Cut to execute the cut file.